What's up guys? Look what I caught. There are snakes everywhere out here. So I just like just grabbed him off the ground right now. He's a cute little guy. They're just little garter snakes. Uh, there was another one over there. The dog was barking at it. But I caught one yesterday too when I was like recuperating from my birthday. And I didn't film it because I wasn't feeling too well. Hi Lola, bark bark. Is she bark barking at the other snake? I think so, they're barking at the snakes. Um, but yeah, like my little sister was so scared. She's not here right now, but I brought it in to Donica and Donica's like, ah! <laughs> She's like, Nikki, get away! <laughs> yeah, there's the other snakes like right underneath there. The other snakes underneath there. What a funny little dog. You can mention me. This snake isn't stinking. I told him right when I picked him up, I said, it's okay, you know, I'm gonna let you go in a second. But yesterday, the, that snake released like um, that musk. They have a gland where they release a foul-smelling smell to ward off predators if they feel threatened. And the other snake stunk so badly. But I told him everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna let him go, so maybe he's cool. He's not stinking. <laughs> Did he just try to snap at my face? <laughs> So this one's just a tough guy. Now that would have been a viral video had he actually gotten me in the face. Oh man, that was really stupid of me though. I was holding him very close to my face, but I just, I was thinking that he's so small, there's not much he could do. But he was a feisty little guy. Maybe I'm gonna start a nature channel on YouTube. Be like the Manny Pooig of YouTube or something. I know random little tidbits about animals. Maybe I'll just go on adventures in the woods and find creatures and talk about them. <laughs> No, I just, I really like animals. So we just picked up my little sister. She took her ACTs this morning. How did your ACT go? She not, just got in the car. Not quite sure, to be honest. What, didn't you get done an hour early? Yeah, but that doesn't mean like I just meted. Everyone did. What? It wasn't like I was so good and I finished an hour early. It was just like we started early. Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> no, like everyone, you had the same amount of time, every person. Oh, okay. But gotcha. I didn't finish the reading. Then you well, got, like I finished, you, but I kind of guessed. Wrong. Oof, duh. I don't know what my mom was thinking. My mom has this like psychology meeting up in St. Paul, and we dropped her off there, and she said, hey, my the place where my meeting is isn't too far away from the Como Zoo, so why don't you take the kids to the Como Zoo while I'm at this meeting? Thing is, it's the Saturday, right after school's out, and it's summertime, and this is a free zoo. So there's just a crap load of people at the zoo. I drove over there and it was kind of like a traumatic experience for me because I don't know how to parallel park. I don't, and there's just people everywhere, so I'm just getting like a little overwhelmed because I'm not the best driver ever. Well, I'm an okay driver, I'm just a bad parker. So I told the kids if we're gonna go to the zoo today, we need to park ridiculously far away and walk there. But they're okay with it, and um, so now we're walking to the zoo. Have you ever seen me freak out that bad before? Yeah, <laughs> in California when you pass the toll. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andre. You had to see one. that. You look like Donica in a uh, 99% off. Still, uh, whatever. I don't know. Good one. <laughs> I had it and then I just forgot. Now we're trying to figure out how we get into the actual zoo. We're in like with the rides and stuff now. We also, Andre and I are really hungry. We need to get like a little snack before we go out to eat later. Giraffes! Now these guys are cool. I really like giraffes. I just feel like they look so awkward, so it makes me love them even more. Do you like giraffes? Yeah. Andre, what animal do you want to see while you're here? A Komodo dragon. I actually, I don't think they have. I think they have them here. No. I think just at the Minnesota Zoo in Apple Valley. Still. Look at him. Oh, he's retired. <laughs> That's a wild animal right there. Look at him. He's like a house cat. <laughs> No, Donica. Tigers only eat humans when they're starved. Look how pretty he is. Now he 
I mean, he might eat you even if he wasn't that hungry. One thing I am noticing though, is the longer I've been back in Minnesota, the more my Minnesotan accent starts to come out when I talk. <laughs> like, so I, I watch myself on camera and sometimes my Minnesotan accent is so thick now. Lions, roar! There you I go, know Danica. Like exactly from the Lion King. He does? Yeah. Exactly? Like who, Mufasa or Simba? Mufasa. Another yucky weather day. It's raining, it's sleeping weather. Like it totally makes you want to sleep in late, which I have been the past couple days. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get my sleeping pattern back to normal. Makes me want to sleep until 1 p.m. I have to force myself to wake up a little earlier than that. But I came up to my dad's house the other night. So here, here's my dad. And today is my lucky day. My dad wants to take me shopping because it was my birthday not too long ago. So I get to go birthday shopping. So we're headed out to Southdale Mall right now. And I get to pick out some stuff. I'm so excited. My dad is the nicest dad ever. I'm not even kidding you guys. Now the sun's out a little bit but knowing how it's been, it's probably just tricking. Like the sun likes to play tricks. That was like a really loud horn, I feel like. But yeah, the sun will probably go away in a little bit. At the mall, yay! Whoa, ho, ho. look at these right when I walk in the door. They're shiny, so I like them, but I don't know where, where I'd wear them or how I would. No, I could make it work, definitely. So we're headed to Express. It's probably my favorite store. I always find stuff that I like there. And yeah, I'm just gonna browse around. Express! I feel like this shirt and this skirt would be really cute together. <sighs> I like those colors together, but they're all larges. It bums me out. So I pulled a bunch of stuff to try. Let's see if I can find something that I like and it fits right. A lot of times um, the shirts are too short for me because I'm like smaller, but I'm long everywhere. I'm a lanky person, got a long torso, long legs. I pulled all this stuff. I'm gonna try that skirt that I liked in pink in this uh, seafoam green color. Or I don't know, is that what it is? Mint, mint. Ooh, I really like this. Like this up here, I think this is a cool shirt. Except I feel like I always buy blue shirts, but I look good in blue, so that's okay. I like this shirt, it's really cool. Dress, I feel like this looks a little big up here, but it's extra small, why is the fabric so loose up here? Hmm, I'm on the fence, I don't know if I like this or not. Does this skirt actually look good on me, or is it too short? I found some stuff that worked at Express. I got it here. I'll go through everything when I get home. I got a necklace too. Now we're running into Macy's. I'm gonna do a little shopping here after, but first we're gonna stop at Shiseido and I'm gonna talk to the lady about my eyes to see if they have anything for that. Cause I don't have a problem with dark circles. I just have really deep set eyes and I have kind of hollow eyes, so I'll get shadows. So it's not necessarily discoloration, but since they're so deep set, it gets shadows on camera sometimes and I want to find something that'll plump up my under eye area. Look at all that gold. Shiseido products always work really well for me. Like I don't have any wrinkles here. I always use Shiseido to do that and moisturize and whatnot. So I talked to the Shiseido people and I ended up getting my makeup done. She did my eyes. I think they're really cool. It's always nice to have it done but I never really do anything crazy with my eyes myself. So I did that and then they gave me a nice sample of eye cream to try and I'll see if that helps plump up my under eye area. Basically it's just that I don't have enough fat under there, but I don't know, it might be a little crazy being sensitive because I just turned 25 and I'm feeling old, but I actually, I always had a little bit of a problem with um, hollow eyes, but that's my biggest problem. Hopefully. It gets fixed. Well, we're gonna head back to my dad's house because I'm supposed to have dinner with my friend Amber tonight. This is the only night she can do it because she has finals and then she's moving. And she just texted me and asked if we could do 5.30 instead of six. And I said, yeah. So we have to hurry and get out of here. I tried to try and address really fast in Macy's uh, cause I, I knew we had to hurry. And oh my gosh, like it had fringes everywhere and I got so stuck. It was ridiculous. I was like half, stakes, half naked and stuck in all these straps. I was just like, Aah! but I was okay. I got out. I'm not dead yet. Amber came and picked me up at my dad's house for our quick dinner together. And she's lovely as always. Awesome Aww. meal. 
what's up? We got some vegetable tempura. I got my Benihana roll, and she's got some stir-fried chicken. This meal looks amazing. I'm excited to eat. I had a craving for sushi, so we just ran over to Benihana, up by my dad's house, kinda. And we're just gonna enjoy our meal and catch up with each other. Um, Cause that, she was at my birthday dinner, but everyone was there, so we didn't really get a chance to talk, talk. So now we're just gonna catch up and see what's been going on in our lives. I'm back at my dad's house. Dinner with Amber was really good, but her GPS went like nuts. So we ended up getting super lost. Like I've never seen a GPS malfunction that much. It went absolutely crazy like it just kept changing and saying go here go here go here and it ended up taking us like downtown Minneapolis and I'm like whoa okay <laughs> but we ended up getting home and since Amber's phone was dead I um, had my dad write down directions so that she knew how to get home so I'm in for the rest of the night but I wanted to show you guys the three shirts that I got when I was shopping today well one dress too so I got this dress this shirt here and this skull shirt I ended up finding that like right before I left but I like them I think they're super cute there's my Xena shrine again I know I've showed you this before but it's awesome and I have Kalisto's autograph well I'm gonna wrap things up and get some editing done I'm gonna work on some vlogs because I didn't have internet in my mom's house I know I told you guys her internet isn't strong enough to upload videos and now I'm up here so I can power through some work and get stuff done. But yeah, then I'm gonna watch TV with my dad. That's what my dad likes to do. He likes to just watch TV and he enjoys having company, someone watching TV with him. So always remember guys that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah.